Today, I would like to introduce you to a new outdoor game named... Your shoe's in the shot, Each game consists buddy. of three oh. sets of bean bags, six in total, and 16 plastics rings. Setup is not at all annoying. Four separate ring sections. Player is responsible for defending... Have a small backyard? Rings. Too fucking bad. Don't live in a tornado-prone area, please, Start if you can't. by laying out the circles. Each four-ring section needs to be three foot away. It needs to be. Section. You can use the three foot. What is the Olympics level defend it? If it is more than three feet, I do not want your money. Four circles have to be one foot apart. Again, using the. Have your kids do all the work. <laughs> the most important thing, though, is to. Have yeah, after you're done <laughs> measuring, <laughs> for sure. Really, the setup is a game in itself. Out from its original position. <laughs> Simply take the circle, eye it. Put it back in what you think is the original position, or if you really want to be official, just I think I'm an official. It's not. It's not a game yet. It's here's what it looks like: four sections of four. They don't seem evenly spaced. Look at the one. No, not at all. Now you are ready to begin. Each player. I'm sorry, everyone. Stop. Get out the measuring rope. I think mom and daughter are at a bit of a disadvantage with the sun in their faces. The other three players will start with bean bags and will try to score by tossing their bean bags. Into the defenders. Really needed a minute and a half to explain the this. Try to prevent the bean bags from landing. In his Wasn't room. ready yet. Hey. Fuck you, mom. Oh no. When all the bean bags are tossed, the round is over. And so is your family. And then the defender <laughs> rotates clockwise. This continues. Come on, do we really need that much fucking legislation? One point is scored for each bean bag that lands in the defender's circle. <laughs> He kind of sucks canceled. at defending. I know. Here's an example of one point. One bean bag in a circle. Oh, that's what it looks like. Dare he show us three? In one circle. Here's, an example Here's a complicated one thing you might need some graphical opponent, representation for. From another opponent, one of the bean bags cancels the other one out. Only one point. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Here we have three. Well, now you're just getting into nonsense. In one circle. Odd number. Everyone scores. Wait, why doesn't point. whoever regarded this sucks? Fifty percent of your beanbag needs to be inside the circle to score. Here's an example of a clear. It point. needs to be for God damn it. Here, clearly no. Point. The me the included point smaller point. measuring rope can help you tell <laughs> if it's exactly officially fifty percent in or not. Whose beanbag is not. Now, what happens if the defender spot is on top of the beanie? Point will be awarded. Each round starts by each player announcing their score, starting with the person <laughs> from the why? left of the defender, and rotating Is paper not included with this game? The game, the game seemed okay game without the thousand commandments game. surrounding it. <laughs> Here are a couple of examples. Oh my god, oh, dude. Mom, you're not even trying. <laughs> Do we stop playing Dad's crappy game? <laughs> we have a playground right behind Mom. <laughs> Can't we use that? Defend it. <laughs> <laughs> the game ends when someone scores 21. This is a hostage situation, so isn't it? They're all so terrible. The Tom, I don't think it needs to have any rules. Shut up, Beth! Over 21, you must go back to 11. He has this odd sense of urgency with the rules that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I know. You must. That's 22. You must go back oh, to 11. You must get 21 exactly. Oh, is the family quitting there? <laughs> also, be aware of what's going Wait, on. In what? The game. An example would be if someone's about to score 21, you may want to make sure that they're not going to score the 21. Yes, point thank you. Game. I know how games work on a fundamental no. level. Well, not letting people score is kind of the central tenet of the game. Kids, adults, to get outside, uh -huh. play. Yeah, if only there were sports that existed. <laughs> like something involving a goal that you have back behind you. Yeah, but that doesn't exist. No. When playing with three players, just make sure the defender. When playing with three players, well, you must not do that. Have to move around just a tiny bit. Why? When there's three players, why do you have to set up the fourth thing of rings though? Because they gotta rotate. Also can be played with two players. But why the? Same way. I don't think athletic genes ran in this family. If you have any additional <laughs> questions about how to play the game or how the game is made, contact me at WAP. No, I don't know about that, really. I think I'm good. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the game. Okay. Jeez. Now, uh, let's start here. 25 grand? Well, yeah, you gotta manufacture the hula hoops. And you know how much Beanie Babies go for nowadays? 
I have the feeling most of that 25,000 was mass production of the printed 300-page manual of rules. You mean the scroll? The codex of defend it, as they call it. The tablets of commandments that he probably etched this all on. <laughs> this is so random. Okay, so there's $10 reward, right? Where you get your name printed in the back of included directions. Assuming there's even any room with all the rules crammed in there. Uh, 25, you get two sets of defendant beanbags and your name printed. Fine. But then for $44, you get defendant game. You get a defendant game. That's so how it. how come the game's included in the trademark, but the game's not capitalized? I don't know. I think he's trying to he's trademark. He's bending his own. He's bending other people's rules is what he's doing. Oh, my God. They call me the rule master. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Ninety percent of the funds I raise will go directly to the production of the defendant game. What about the other ten percent? They'll be spent towards bribing my family to play the game. <laughs> Got my eye on a nice new hat with that twenty five hundred dollars. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Money raise, minimum material, keep the cost down to the consumer. First one will be five hundred defendant games at a minimum. What? Can certainly make more depending on how well received the game is. About that. <laughs> so seven people. There was four family members. Maybe the you convinced the family dog to donate. Wait, hold on a minute. This is the math isn't working for me. Okay. 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 Five hundred defendant games is the first run. Okay. Yep. yep. He needs twenty five grand. Forgetting the ten percent that he's setting aside and not saying anything about. Um. That means it's $50 to produce a Defendant game. So you're going to sell this whole set for more than $50? These 16 hula hoops, these like six bean bags and... Packaging will be irritating until this gets on Steam Greenlight. And then, <laughs> and then weigh it down with the codex of rules <laughs> of Defendant. But then if you're a backer for $44, that means by backing this project you get... A six dollar discount off of just buying Defend It yourself. I mean, I don't know much about deals and Groupons and things like that. But slowly, if it comes with free measuring rope, that's true. That it does. Oh my what are you gonna God. do? Get a ruler? <laughs> Tape measure? No. Jesus Christ! Is there a stretch goal where I can get a yard to play this in if I donate enough? The suppliers I have chosen need four weeks to get the material needed for the Defendant game back to me. What? But, all right. All right, I guess you need printed stuff, right? And then and then that gives me six weeks to build and package Defendant games necessary. So he's actually going as part of the assembly line for this. And I bet the assembly process has its own tome of rules. I have the feeling there's like some, I don't know much about the defendant supply chain, but I just feel like there must be a better way of doing this. Well, if you look at the updates tab, he has one update called getting my butt kicked in two areas. Uh-oh. He, getting my butt handed to me in two areas. First and foremost, getting everyone to look at my project has been difficult. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just imagining him going around with his giant ledger of directions. Needed to do a better job strategizing how I was going to do that. Secondly, shipping. It's too darn expensive. Well... The good news is that Defendant was a staff pick, but how do I take advantage of that? Staff pick by whom? The Kickstarter staff? No. <laughs> I, I mean, was Defendant an editor? The staff at his company, which he runs? <laughs> of all the games produced by everyone here at the tannery, who... <laughs> <laughs> who's is the best oh mine what do oh you know? yeah it's me and then who the hell is jason webster loving the game shipping must be killing you at 44 a game it would seem better to pitch this to whammo or some other big company i mean can't you just play the horseshoes good comment jason i've tried the big company approach but i always hit a brick wall when it comes to act time to actually pitch my game yeah because i have a feeling your elevator pitches are like an hour long <laughs> Gets into the he gets into an elevator at the head of Milton Bradley and just hits the like stop button. Like we're gonna need a couple days for this. I'm and she's like, "Hey, Bill, do you want to come over for a barbecue later?" And instead of a barbecue, he has his whole family in the backyard. He's like, "All right, you got to see this. What do you think?" <laughs> I would love to see this guy on Shark Tank or something, though. Or America's Got Talent.
Actually, you know what the fucked up thing is, too, looking at this? I guess these are prototypes, right? Because he has the fully packaged product, which is all of the um, hula hoops tied with the three-foot measuring rope. Hmm. Oh, you're saying the measuring rope is also in prototype, so that may get enhanced over time? I'm assuming. Okay. I mean, because if he, if he really just had to, like... If he was just selling generic ass bean bags and hula hoops, like not branded or anything like that, it certainly I don't think would take his suppliers like six weeks to get him that. I mean, I'm assuming there's printing involved there or something. Like, here's the defendant logo, although I'm not seeing that anywhere on the project, so I'm pretty sure all the budget goes towards the rules and printing paper. <laughs> and they're just in like courier font. Yeah. Or, or manually typed. <laughs> What is that? Is it the cost? Like, he goes to Kinko's, and it's like, really that much? Oh, it's him again. <laughs> oh, my God. Sadly, funding unsuccessful. Shockingly. <sighs> couldn't... <laughs> couldn't defend that purchase, I guess. Oh, well. Now, we'll see this on Twitch someday, eSports. Yeah, definitely. It's gotta go to the eSports arena. <laughs>